Oh, someone's slow. Front left, you're joking. You cost us a podium. And welcome back to another F124 driver career mode video. We are heading to Emola and that is going to be a big one because it is uh, one of the faster circuits and uh, we're heading towards the first quarter of this season. So, so far, pretty strong showing here. A lot of podium finishes except for Japan. That is the outlier. Emola might be the other outlier because it's either I'm pretty good at Emola or I'm totally horrible at it. So let's hope that we're on the better end of my talent spectrum here for Emola. But without further ado, let's jump into it and see how well we perform here at the Italian circuit. If you guys are enjoying the series, of course, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe using the subscribe button down below. Really do appreciate the support. Quick chat with the specialist. Can we perform a uh, better position in qualifying? Nah, six purple seconds during a race weekend is much easier. There's no guarantee. Again, I said I'm either really good at Emola or really bad at it. Complete eight laps in the practice sessions. Is that possible? I mean, I could technically. Uh, fewer than one corner cut. Yeah, let's do eight laps in practice. Uh, in practice, complete a lap using at least three sets of tires or 60 seconds in seventh gear. That's possible. And then race strategy program. Uh, we'll try to get 15 points. We'll try to keep the podium streak going. R&D wise, we are the best performing car on the grid, meaning that we are under pressure of possibly getting a penalty. Uh, remember, we are on the uh, balancing out the field scenario. I have currently 1200 points in the bank. Um, I don't think I can get any upgrades here. I think all the upgrades are locked. So I'll stack the points for now and we'll see how that goes. Uh, if there's any other upgrade that unlocks or we'll just save them up for regulation changes at the end of the season if they do come. So we were indeed the best performing car as we head to Emola. The rear floor under tray has been removed from our car meaning that Aston Martin are again ahead of us um is that a chassis upgrade I think possibly rear floor under tray there we go let's bring this in for Canada there's no rush we want to keep um Aston Martin ahead for Monaco we'll probably see what happens as we get closer there but Aston Martin are the faster or the better performing car at this time but very small margin between us I think so that'll be fine so let's head into Imola see how well we perform here welcome along everybody to Imola just down the road from Ferrari HQ and they know a thing or two about pace and pace today is king it's qualifying day and it's great to have you with us Here we are then for qualifying for Imola and to verify yet again for any newcomers we are running 110 AI here in Imola for the video and for the whole series so far. So let's see where we can put this car. Um, hopefully it's going to be at the front end of the grid but I'm feeling confident in this dry weather running. Let's see if we can really perform and put this car on pole. Here we go, here we go. First lap, P4, 46 thousandths behind Ocon, who's in P2. Wow, Alpine's really pushing today. Feeding off the slipstream of George Russell. We find ourselves in P13, but maybe we'll get a couple positions higher, so we're safe. P3, there we go. The slipstream helped us out a lot there. Pretty solid up here in P3. Identical time as Nico Hülkenberg. Wow, I've never had that happen, I think. And only a thousandth ahead of Alonso. Wow, I have. I don't think I've ever had that in identical time. Maybe I have. I'm not sure. Well, there we have it. P3 for Q1 with it. Porsche, Ricardo Behrman, Joe, and Albo knocked out. All right, improving by six tenths for the final lap with a little bit of slipstream from Pettis. Let's see where we sit. 
P8, good enough to make it through. I'm not doing this DRS thing again. I mistimed my exit out of the pits this time. Yeah, I mistimed my exit, so Perez was more of a cork in the road rather than a useful tool. Bottas, Hülkenberg, Ocon, Sonoda, and Leclerc knocked out. Come on. Let's cross the line, use tires, run, P6. Okay, not too far away from the top five. We'll put on some fresh boots, hopefully find ourselves in some clean air and go for another one. Okay, someone's just posted a faster time. Come on. Come on. Where is that? P5. It's okay. Would have liked a couple places higher, but I mean 2.4 tenths off the pace of Alonso is not too bad and just under 2 tenths behind my teammate. Fairly competitive. We can be stronger on race day, so let's hope that's the case. Let's see how the race goes. Hello there and welcome back to Imola. Home circuit of the Scuderia Ferrari. We expect to see a lot of local supporters wearing red today and they've all turned out for what we're expecting will be a sensational event here at the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. 3.1 miles of track at Imola featuring 19 turns, 9 to the right and 10 to the left. Remember that Imola differs from most other Formula 1 tracks as it's taken anti-clockwise. Let's hope nobody forgets that today. The exit from turn 18 will probably be the setup for many of today's overtakes, leading as it does into the longest straight on the circuit, and it's only DRS zone. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Fernando Alonso lines up on pole position, and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Norris, Verstappen, the rookie, Sainz, Stroll, Oscar Piastri, Perez, Russell, Leclerc, Sonoda, Ocon, Holkenberg, Bottas, Albon, Joe, Behrman, Ricardo, and Theo Porsche. And now it's time to head down to the track. So again, the race itself is on 110 difficulty, AI, um, and the strategy for today is a one-stop. The mediums felt nice when I used when I used them for practice, so I'm hoping that they hold up for 14 laps and then it's hard. The hards are also resilient, so I might pit us a tad bit early if I need to, to get onto the hards ASAP. P5 starting position. Let's hope for a good race. All right, P5, my teammate in P2, lights out. And we're off. Norris had a bit of a slow getaway. Verstappen taking the inside line there, odd. Why would one do that? Hamilton left the door open for me, pushing Alonso on the inside line. And we've got a Mercedes 1-2 for me here. Oh, how? How? I was not over the line, bro. I was not over the line. Let's check. Was I over the line? I need to do a check here. Is that over the line? I don't think so. That green line counts, doesn't it? It's part of the white line. It just turned green because they spray painted the curb. Mate, I got cheated there. That ain't... Nah. That is not exceeding track limits, man. Man, he's off there, man. Hamilton was off. Surely. Well, anyway, lap one coming to an end, so DRS will be enabled this lap. Alright, I gotta deploy because Alonso's gonna have insane straight line speed. Okay, DRS will be enabled 
Come on, Hamilton, give me the slipstream. He's helping me. Whoa. I had to make the move. I had too much speed compared to Hamilton. I had to make the move. Alonso made the move too. Come on. We need the cars behind us to battle. Alonso's right on my tail. Okay, I'm up. Alonso, no, 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 no. Grow a brain, bro. You make the move down the DRS straight, not there. There is no space for two cars, buddy. Oh, you're kidding. BS. No way that's exceeding, man. I didn't even, like, I had the slightest of touches. You're joking. Okay, we got nothing. I think Alonzo's gonna get us here. Yup, there he goes. Come on, we gotta stay close to him. Ah, we're losing grip to Alonso. Box this lap. Okay, we've got 21 laps of fuel left. 21 oh, laps. shut your mouth. Box this lap. Confirmed. We'll receive you at the end of this lap. Yeah, we lo we're losing too much grip. Rears are overheating. Rears are overheating. We're moving on to the hard tires now. A lap early, but it's necessary. Also, I might bump this up a couple notches. I need more re front and uh, grip. All right, see ya, mate. Here we go, in we go. All right, perfect. Oh, someone slow, front left, you're joking. You cost us a podium. The idiot cost us a podium. You fire that guy, man. Seriously, fire him. My god. Absolutely ridiculous. Right behind Bearman. I want him gone before the end of the Grand Prix. When I come into the pits, I don't want to see him there. I want him packed up out of the bit, out of the garage. All right, dispatch of number sixty-nine, who is Olive Bearman. We got more grip. People in the pits. That's round one. Let's see how screwed we are. Yeah, we're screwed. There's an Aston Martin already leaving and a Haas already leaving. Alonso and Sainz. Okay, Alonso's won it. We're, we're screwed. I was about to curse really badly there. I'm sorry. Oh, we're screwed. Okay, group number two in the pits for their one stop. Moving on to hards. How many do I get past? My teammate included, okay. So it's Alonso, Sainz, and myself on the podium. Man, my team really screwed me here. Picker really screwed me. Trying to catch Sainz, but I can't. I just can't. Oh, Alex Albon's out. 
Is that a safety car? Nope. No safety car. Safety car, safety car. But yeah, the team really screwed me. Could have done without the four second pit stop. Would have been so much closer to signs. Could have been a P2 today. But no. The team had to screw me. Oh, Piastri as well. Okay, we've got a full safety car, safety, safety car. Keep an eye on the Delta. We need to keep it positive to avoid a penalty. How is the tires? Down, tires aren't bad. We'll just stay out. Thought about so mediums, but mediums for 12, 13 laps is a bit of a push because around lap nine they start to die off. Safety car, safety car. The pit crew is off the hook now, a little bit, but I still want the front left guy out of here. He uh, he should be home. He should be on the autobus, you know, on the bus home right now. Get him out of here. Send him to Bologna and then airport. Bye. Go home. But the safety car is going to help us out here. This is magnificent, but I don't like that Verstappen and Russell have caught up again. They were five seconds behind us. That is a bit of a problem, but maybe we can dispatch of signs relatively easily and then we can start pushing again on Alonso. Maybe Alonso and I can share DRS and just run away together, but overall it's been a very boring monotonous Grand Prix, which isn't bad. It just means that we get to enjoy some driving, but it also means that it's going to be a shorter video because I don't want to bore you guys with laps and laps and laps of just me driving around. And also that, yeah, not many moves happen. But now there's a chance that some activity might occur here. This is getting exciting. Something with Piastri perhaps triggered the safety car. I don't know. We'll see. I might have found the footage when I looked back at the replay. But yeah, this is... I'm okay with this. I'm content with the results here. Yo, Sainz just cut that corner, man. Sainz just cut that corner. That should be a penalty or a warning at least. Bruda. I stay on the line and get a warning. And those guys are cutting corners and don't get... E oh, look, he's crossed it again. That's two. And he's ma probably made some earlier. So he should be on a penalty by now. Bruda. Es gibt doch nicht, man. All right, come on. Drive, buddy, man. Bloody heck. Let's go. See ya, mate. Get lost. What the heck? Why are you hitting me? Just go straight. Okay, Alonso's pulled away. Alonso's pulled away. Just go straight, bro. Alright, we gotta try and play catch up to Alonso, but that is going to be a difficult task considering he has overpowered straight line speed. Okay, mate, Alonso ahead. We don't wanna let this hold us up too long, so do your best to get past and get on with the race. Bro, he's not holding us up. I'm chasing him down. How brain dead do you need to be to make that kind of team order, man? How stupid. Alright then. Coming up to the final lap. Alonso's pulled a gap. Way too OP of an AI. But hey, I'll take this P2. 
the podium streak continues. Russell and Hamilton. Let's see if Hamilton can get into P3 to round out the podium. I'm just casually bringing it home. Oh, Hamilton's pushing. Come on. He's using up his battery, I'm assuming. Okay, come on, Hamilton. Oh, Hamilton's closing in. We'll need to save the battery for the exit. Alonso's won it. And I will deploy my battery here, which should be enough to see ourselves in P2 for the Imola well Grand Prix. Done, well done, that's a great finish. You've really stepped up and achieved what we asked you to do today, so good job. It's happy days for the Fonz. A winner today, Fernando Alonso. I mean, it looked like they were in a different category at points during the race, led every lap. I mean, what more can we say? It's time to present the top drivers with their trophies for today's Grand Prix. And there are a lot of people in the paddock very happy with this result. It's Aston Martin on the top step. Yeah, Alonso was uncatchable today. Insane how fast he drove towards the end. Seven seconds ahead of me. Wow. And I was two tenths ahead of Lewis with Russell just behind. So Alonso, myself, and Hamilton on the podium. Russell, Norris, Stroll, Ocon, Leclerc, Sainz, and Tsunoda in the points. Pettis, Hülkenberg, Joe, Bottas, Ricardo, Porsche, Behrman, Piastri, and Verstappen round out the finishes with Albon not finishing the race today so standings wise let's take a look i am still in the front with 26 point gap to alonso he does catch up slightly with his victory today uh we are uh lewis hamilton is now up to p4 so we are sandwiching the aston martins uh they are our current rival of course 16 points between aston martin and us so yeah this gap seems to have um con has stayed consistent as we had to um by the by the end of today wow i can't english because this has been a wild and frustrating grand prix especially with the track limits thing like i had two track limits in the first lap didn't i like that put extra pressure on me to keep it extra clean like the, the line makes no sense i i got so like claustrophobic no not claustrophobic i got so uh concentrated on the line like i was like and i'm not going anywhere near that line uh and that has made me a little slow on certain corners because you can really throw the car around especially in sector one but if you have that line like subconsciously telling you like don't cross the line you can't really throw the car so i did lose a little bit of pace but being able to secure p2 i'll take that I will take it. But yeah, that is all for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe using the subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as I upload next. Thank you guys so much for the support. Take care. And I'll see you guys for a new video tomorrow.